to shoot 25 shots from beyond the arc, and Clark, that works out to about 2.2 seconds a shot. Love to see you using the Saber metrics there, partner. Uh -huh. Quick pace indeed. Each make counts as one point with the exception of the last ball, the money ball, that's worth two. I actually have the average. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that money ball can kind of push you along. for the fourth three times. A total of 17 points that he'll take away from that round. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. Well, we all know how important the money balls are in this event, and he hit four out of five of them. That's very good work. The memory has to be very short in this format, like less than a second. You have to put every miss right behind you. Forget about it. Yeah, because one miss can easily turn into two and then three, and then you start racing because you're worried about the clock before you know it, you're pretty much out of it. Six. Respectable start here. He's got nine. Only man to sink one there. Ten points on the board. Eleven on the board. He's got twelve. Make that fourteen. That's his fourth straight. At 16. Kept up a great pace right there. He even left some time on the clock. So he ends up at 17. I'd say a solid showing from him. Yeah, that streak in there. What did he make? Six in a row, I think. He, he was really feeling it. And it speaks to his confidence in this event. I'll tell you one thing. If a player doesn't get into a rhythm and start stringing shots together, it's over quick. Yeah, we talked about that a lot. But it's so important. Any time, but you've got to get into a groove early and then keep your momentum going. And just rattle off one shot after the next. He's got eight. Wasting little time. Eleven points. That four. for thirteen, and he's made all three money ball. He's got sixteen. Boy, a nice run here. Second. He got three points off that rack. Not bad. Tied for first. And that puts him in first place. He collects 22 points. He was really enjoying himself out there that time. Yeah, it was a terrific start. He was feeling it from the get-go. 17 or higher would keep him in contention. Well, he can't afford a slow start because at that point you start to press. So a good first rack is very important. That rack did not go very well. He's getting cold. Five consecutive misses. talk about guys getting into a rhythm in this event and he just never was able to do that and guys one of the cardinal sins of the three-point contest is a player trying to change his stroke after a bad rap or two it won't work well it's tempting to do so Clark, but trying to make adjustments during a 60 second span sometimes it's tough people tend to overthink things now, this is really more about finding your stroke early and then not thinking about anything to stay in 
contention. Boy, he's in a good rhythm right now. Six more points. Take the round. Can't get the money ball. He needs six more points. He's got 12. Red for 13. One last rack remains. Four more points to stay alive. Up to 15 now. And he's got 15 points when the round ends. He knows exactly what score will get him into the next round. And to make the next round, he'll need at least 17 points. A good chance for him here. That score is beatable. Takes his first there. Two points. Three down. Money ball, no good. Now with four. Five points. Now with six. Can't get the money ball. Seven points. Now he's got to finish strong. He's got nine. Ten now. He needs six points more to advance. He just can't find the bottom of the net with those money balls. He's missed all four. Oh, and uh, he will not advance to the next round. He's going to just finish out the string here. That is not enough. He gets his tally up to 16 points. Quite honestly, I think the final round is wide open. I mean, we've got a bunch of big shooters moving. Here. I think everybody's in the mix right now. He squeaked into this round with the lowest qualifying score so far. He's the first one to go in this one. You know, in the four times you played in the three-point shootout, Steve, you made it through the first round three times. So physically, would you start to wear out or wear down a little bit in the later stages? I did part a little bit. I was a jump shooter and not a not an overly strong guy. So I thought the bigger, stronger guys like Larry Bird, maybe guys who shot set shots, they held up a little bit more. Dirk Nowitzki comes to mind as well. He's getting cold. Five consecutive misses. Two racks remaining. Now with six. Seven points. He's getting a roll going down. with 10 points. Well, I, I didn't expect that score to be as low as it was. What about you guys? I guess one way to look at it is that he was just in his discomfort zone in that round. You know, so hard, no need to even put it into words. We could all see how unsettled he was. It did not go well from the start. Well, he was very steady in round one, so we'll see if that translates to this one. Well, it's the finals now, Clark, so he's going to have to be more than just steady. This is when it takes something special to go ahead and take this trophy home. Six points more to tie it up. Honey ball, no good. Five more points to tie it up. Six. Range the money ball. One more for the top. He's got ten. Good rack right there. Four points total. Good momentum here to close it out. Good for 13. Make that 14. He finds himself at 16 points at the end of the round. He turned in a pretty good round right there, don't you think? I was impressed just uh, with his poise, guys, because he stayed on a very even keel from one rack to the next. He had the highest score in the last round. Let's see if he can do it again here in the final. And it's 17 to go ahead, or at least 16 to tie it up. One point. Executive misses. He's really cooling off here. He's got to keep it steady here. He can't miss more than two shots the rest of the way. Oh, and with that miss, he's out. Unlucky here in the final round. And just couldn't get any momentum moving forward.